Hi, I'm going to take you through the video spinner application here and I've already set up a demonstration and uh, what I've done is as an example I have grabbed uh, some images, the URL of some images and placed them in the images uh, text field here and, um, and in case you're not familiar with the video spinner uh, basically what we're doing is we're grabbing images, we're getting some text-to-speech um, and some other things and we are generating videos that post very quickly to YouTube and uh, or you can and or you can download them so um, the interface is not very elegant necessarily but it is designed to be hopefully quick a quick easy way to generate videos um, with as little effort and time as possible so what I've done as an example is I've gone to a um, a website and um, as if you are possibly generating a video for say a realtor um, you would want to grab the URL of some images and then uh, piece together the video so if I go into the image gallery here if you uh, are any page on the web for the most part uh, given that you have the right to use the image you can right click and get the uh, URL for that image. I'm currently using Chrome as my web browser so your menus might be different but usually when you right click on an image most times you will see a copy image URL or something of that nature so if I click on that I've now copied that and then I can paste that into this box here and you can see I've just grabbed the first uh, six or so images and um, plug them into the box now um, also I've grabbed the description of the property and I've made some tweaks to it so this is a text-to-speech right here the way this works is um, you uh, put in the text and the computer or the server will generate text to, uh, a synthesized voice and uh, as a voiceover for your video and the um, we have several options here we have uh, US English female and male UK as well as Spanish now this, uh, it's important to note that the Spanish isn't necessarily just a Spanish a Spanish accent it actually pronounces the words uh, in the Spanish language so it's great for native uh, uh, Spanish um, so I, I've made some tweaks since this is text-to-speech sometimes uh, words do not necessarily come out the way you might think they would uh, when pronounced by a computer uh, text-to-speech synthesizer so sometimes you have to kind of reword some things uh, maybe spell the um, word phonetically for example I've spelled this word um, change the I and E on the end to E E N uh, to to get the the pronunciation I want there and I haven't actually run this yet so I'm just assuming uh, actually, I ran. I did run a previous version that had the I and E, and that that did not sound right. So, I want to try it this way and see how it comes out. Um, so then, let's see. We go down. You can set a delay for the text to speech. The first slide shows for about seven, eight seconds, six or seven seconds, uh, or, or the um, the bumper, and we'll get to that. Uh, the first slide is usually text. That's optional. Uh, so if you want to just display some text, some contact information, or somewhat of a title screen, you can do that. And uh, so if you want to delay when the voice or the, the text-to-speech starts, you can just set that in seconds here. Uh, I've also uh, put a, um, a URL of a audio, background audio, and, and set the volume. To level two, it defaults to one. That turned out to be a little, depending on the how the the audio was recorded, you may need to bump it up or down accordingly. Um, there is also a second audio track. Uh, I've seen people use this to do uh, um, various things, but uh, usually what happens is uh, if you're not going to use text to speech and you want to record your own voiceover, uh, you can do that and then uh, make that file available online and use that uh, either one of these one could be the voiceover the other one a background music so 
Now, uh, you might notice I'm using Dropbox here. So, the reason is all these files have to be available via a URL in order for this to work. So, um, I don't yet have the ability for you to upload your files onto my server, um, although they are temporarily cached there uh, to generate the video. Uh, it might be something I have in the, in the future, but right now you need to make them available online if they're not already online. So you can use, you can get a free, usually the easiest way to do this is get a free Dropbox account, save the file. I'll just show you here real quick. Um, uh, this is my Dropbox folder. I'm in the uh, public, uh, public section of my Dropbox and I've created a music folder. And um, I, once you drop a file in here on your local computer, it'll actually synchronize to the, the website. And once you do that, you can right-click on any file here and go to your Dropbox menu and click on Copy Public Link. So when you do that, you get a URL, which is this one right here, for this file. Okay, so going on down here, uh, we have bumper text. Uh, what this is, is a beginning and or, and or ending uh, slide with just text on it. So this could be a website, it could be anything you want. You have several lines available, uh, lines, uh, there are line breaks and or it will wrap the text um, if you don't put any line breaks. And uh, you, you kind of have to experiment with how much room you have, but um, what it will do is it will center this on the screen on the first and last slide. So whatever you type in here, it will be centered in the middle as far as height and, uh, and horizontally, horizontally and vertically will be centered. And you can choose to show that only at the beginning and, or the ending or both. Uh, there's footer text. So this is very similar to this field. In fact, you could have multiple lines here potentially. Uh, so I might want to make this a, a text area versus just a one line text field. But uh, it will wrap. but the footer text basically it aligns to the bottom and if you put too much text there for one line it will it will wrap but it will all kind of fall to the bottom of the screen uh, the watermark text uh, is also optional here but uh, it shows at the top of the screen it will also wrap from the top if you go over one line but um, it has a transparency set to it of uh, maybe an alpha setting of uh, around 30 or 40 percent so it is, it is kind of a see-through watermark. So if you want to send someone a demo video, but you wouldn't want them to use it in production or commercially until maybe they've paid you or something to that effect, you could put that there. Or it's just any kind of text. Maybe it's just a website or phone number that you just want to kind of have at the top of the screen with some transparency to it. Uh, here is where you put your YouTube uh, information, which is optional if you want to upload it to YouTube. So you put your login info here. Uh, you put your title that you want to show up as well as the description. Uh, I have put a credit here to Kevin McLeod here um, where I got the, the music. In fact, here's a great tip. I found this extremely valuable. Uh, if you go to his website, it is incompetech.com and, um, and he has a royalty-free music section here and you can use these in your videos and uh, all you really should do is use he has a, a way for different ways for you to give him credit uh, minimal is to put this in uh, on the video or in the description somewhere near the video that people if they like the music they can find out where you got it so uh, he's got some different options here and uh, of course you can make a donation and I recommend doing that as well because it is it's very good if you check it out you'll see it it's just amazing that it's free um, so back to the form uh, scrolling down um, there is uh, tags here that you can also put onto your uh, video for YouTube as well as uh, choosing a category uh, location right now as of this recording is not active uh, however, that will be here in the near future. Um, we also have options for public, unlisted, or private. As far as the length, or not the length, the um, the privacy of the video, um, 
if you public of course means you post it to YouTube anyone can see it it shows up in search results and that type of thing unlisted means no one can find it unless they have the actual link to the video this is a great way to share uh, if you're you're I mean people use this for all kinds of things but if you're let's say you're creating videos for plumbers um, across the country or in your area you could create hundreds of plumber videos and send those links out and they would not know about the other plumber videos that you've been creating so um, or if you're using it for lead generation or that type of thing if you mark it private then it's only you have to um, share it specifically with um, uh, the the uh, YouTube uh, users that you choose. Okay, I've actually already previewed this, but once you have this all set up, you have a preview window here. You click preview, it'll generate the video. I'm not going to do that now because uh, I will also include the link to the YouTube video or embed it here for you to see the, the example. But once you've previewed it, you also have some options here to post to YouTube or to download it. And then uh, finally, um, at the bottom you can save this profile all the information you've just created here um, you can save locally on your computer just give it a name and it'll be downloaded as a text file and um, so you click you give it a name click save it'll download the text file which you can then later use this section to load the profile so you choose your file that you just uh, saved and, or previously saved and uh, load it using this button down here. So that's the video spinner. Um, there's lots more to come. Uh, there's, uh, it's been a lot of work to, um, sorry, I've been clicking on the wrong thing. There is, uh, like I said, lots of developments uh, we'll be doing. Uh, we've got a really great, the text-to-speech is very good. Uh, I'll probably be creating a new interface to it as a, maybe a secondary or optional interface. You could use this one. This will probably always exist, but I'll be creating a more graphically oriented one. Um, there's some uh, uh, spinning features I had in the old one that I need to kind of plug in here still. But uh, this is the kind of the quick and dirty overview. And uh, hopefully those of you that use the original version will find that this is a uh, adequate or even better replacement for the original. I do feel that the uh, video quality is uh, a little better. Um, it renders, I think, even faster. That was one of the benefits of the previous one. It did render very quickly. This renders at least as fast, if not faster, and to post to YouTube even faster. Um, let's see. That's, that's about it. Thanks for checking it out, and let me know what you think.